Last week on Money Fish. The hook performance fishing, big fish classic. The biggest fish on the dock wins. The 37 Freeman comes up for the first time to Ocean City. And I got out there uh, a little late for lines in and then just kind of started putting around the fleet, marking a ton of bait. And then uh, lo and behold, we get a bite. Day one of that tournament, making it through the night, waking up, no issues. I'd call it a success. Since lines in, uh, we have traveled a little over 200 miles, banging round and round. Um, you know, hadn't been great. Got some, some billfish bites. I think we'll change focus today. Uh, we're gonna hit this tuna, tuna spot hard, uh, probably till about nine o'clock when the rest of the world shows up, and then bug out. We we stumbled across some really good stuff yesterday on the way down. We should have it all to ourselves, but. Um, there was a lot of white marlin in it. We were rigged for tuna. And, um, hopefully we'll convert those bites today by being prepared. And then maybe there'll be a blue one mixed in and you know, all of a sudden the Big Fish Classic is a lot of fun. So um, let's kind of turn the corner today. But uh, a little beat up, I think everybody is. It's a wonderful boat, but man, it gets small for 24, 36 hours. Second morning. Uh, the Hook Performance Fishing Big Fish Classic, uh, you know, that, that title event that we're, we're jumping into. Uh, got the lines back out. Every, everything's back. We are big eye fishing um, probably for about two hours, and then we're going to switch over to trying to catch some blue marlin. But, um, you know, we're in the fleet now. Sun's up. You can see a little better. Whales are super active. I mean, it was, it was going to happen. It can happen. Uh, you know, it just takes one and you know that's what we we're prepared for or at least hope for and um it did and uh you know unfortunately for us it's we trolled around all day and all night for that big eye bite and it's just one of those things man they come up and they're pushing so much water and they're so big a lot of times if you don't have a good heavy bait on there they'll just shove it right out of the way and the unique thing about a big eye versus some other fish out there is they generally don't come back and that's exactly what happened. And one of the things we really needed to do was catch something. So we actually decided to pull the lines after we were done big eye fishing and, and head north to back where we found all that bait and um, you know the weeds and just a, a lot of life. 
and we said, screw it, we're putting out white marlin baits uh, just to catch something and, and get the morale going in the right direction. And um, we got up there, bait was gone, weeds were gone, and we're on a driving around mission again. Your choice of fishing apparel can make or break your day out on the water. Added mesh vents for superior breathability. Moisture transport cooling technology to keep you dry and comfortable. And antimicrobial to keep you from smelling like your catch. With added SPF to keep you protected. We've added stain release to keep the blood or any other stains at bay. Our most technologically advanced fishing shirt for all the necessary dirty work. Nomad system is engineered to help you get back to the basics. Integrated assembly. Silver Z scent suppression system. Industry leading scent reduction technology. Each piece is modular, but can stand on its own. Expanding gussets in the outer shell give you freedom of movement in the early season, but allows you to expand the foul weather system in winter. Nomad provides technical clothing built by hunters for hunters. So we go back to the, the 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 spread that we were hoping would get us somewhere, and um, which was you know the big eye blue marlin spread, and we figured we would try that for the rest of the day. So we tried that in Washington for a little while, and we noticed that a lot of the boats around nine or ten o'clock they weren't getting any bites; they just started to take off. So we we had got on the radio and kind of figured out that there were some some people that were getting some action um, at Poor Man's, and we figured. Hey, you know, let's let's do that. And uh, so we went down there, packed up, went down there real quick, and um, and did the same same thing down there. So we put white marlin baits out and uh, really kind of changed focus. We wanted to be ready for a blue um, if we got that bite, but we weren't in a situation where we should have been catching big eyes. We were, you know, relatively shallow, um, not out in the canyons, not way out in the deep. And um, so we're, we're white marlin, blue marlin fishing, and we're, we're coming around. It's probably, I don't know, hour and a half left in the whole tournament. I see one up on top, just tailing. Uh, I think he's, you know, he's wrangling a group of, of flying fish. Um, call him out. All right, it's time to drag some baits over him. So passing a white marlin on the left side, we go by, the flyers take off, uh, unfortunately for him. So his focus immediately shifts to what we're pulling. And um, you know, fish comes around the spread, doesn't eat the dink bait, doesn't eat the long, and comes around and eats the shotgun, which happened to be a giant blue marlin plug. Um, hooked that fish briefly after a giant backlash. We tried to feed him and, and you know all that stuff, and uh, got a couple jumps, and uh, you know that really was the end of the tournament for us. We, we knew that that uh, at that point that you know as far as just put something on the board for big hour for that for that tournament um, in relation to the big fish classic that just wasn't in the cards but you know what it's really not about that for us we're not here to win tournaments or any of that kind of stuff what we're doing what we're here to do is um, help build a brand what we're trying to do is be on the water be active be a part of this this whole fishing community so we can learn stuff from the experience and find ways to build better product so we can put it on the backs of the fishermen. We're listening to the feedback that we get from them. We're listening to basically the customer and that's what we want to hear. That's why we're doing this. We want to be authentic in this and I, we all have a passion for it. We all love it. We're all having a good time. It's a lot of hard work to hold down, to do what we're doing in regards to these tournaments and doing it ourselves, but then also try and work. I mean, we've got full-time jobs with a company that's going out of control right now, and we're trying to do it all um, so we can make it successful. You know, a little excitement there at the end. Brad Stubbs had caught some billfish the day before for the first time. Um, you know, so we, we sent him off to T-Top uh, out, out near the poor man's canyon. 
so I hadn't had the opportunity to um, to get to jump in the water. So we decided to set it up and jump off the top of the Freeman into uh, the water 62 miles out, which was a pretty cool experience. The water is so blue and beautiful right now. It was, it was fun, it was a good time. I didn't really enjoy it when the boat pulled off, but you know. It was, it felt great. Was it worth it? Absolutely. I'd do it again tomorrow if I could. I'll do it again right now. Yeah. But you can only ring the bell once. That's right. Once so, I'm good. It's fun. Didn't like it when you pulled off though, but. <laughs> Thankfully there hadn't been a, shark, a lot of sharks around, but uh, sent him off. Everybody got wet, a little morale boost for the way home. And um, man, despite being wet, he dried off quick. That Freeman came in at 69 miles an hour. We made it back from the Poor Man's Canyon uh, or thereabouts in 58 minutes. This is performance, from the first fish to the last. We torture our lights so you can rely on them in the real world. Richard Industries has created the world's toughest LED lights, now available for your boat. Start seeing the difference. Rigid Industries. The Nomad system is engineered to help you get back to the basics. Integrated assembly. Silver Z scent suppression system. Industry leading scent reduction technology. Each piece is modular, but can stand on its own. Expanding gussets in the outer shell give you freedom of movement in the early season, but allows you to expand the foul weather system in winter. Nomad provides technical clothing built by hunters for hunters. Yeah, it was okay in the end, but you know, all in all, uh, you know, we get back Saturday, uh, we don't post anything, somewhat embarrassing <laughs> because uh, the DJ kind of called it out and was like, you're gonna, you know, you, are they bringing anything in? And we are like, no, no, shh, <laughs> you know, we, don't make a big deal out of it. We're just pulling in for the tournament. So uh, then we basically spent the next two days um, kind of hanging out at the docks, seeing what people brought in, um, you know, just kind of taking it all in and, and making sure we were there to support the tournament that we were, um, that we were back in and that we were, I'm involved with. So all of a sudden these boats will come in, they'll swing around at the end of our T pier, right, right at Talbot Street Pier, and they'll back in, you know, pumping hard who won the tournament, came in flying in, they were all pumped up, and uh, it was just the most ex amazing excitement that all the crowds are just cheering, everyone's roaring, they're running down to the end of the dock to see what's coming off the boat, and uh, it's about 50 yards to get to the actual scale. So what we do is we have our crews, you know, properly bring off the fish, get the catch report, and they'll load it on, they'll cover up the fish to keep the fish, you know, from losing any weight because it's hot out. And they'll roll it down the scale, down the dock to the scales. We'll have our weighmaster put the fish up on the scale and he'll officially tell me the exact amount of the official weight for that fish. And once that weight comes out, it just this huge outburst comes out you know, everyone's high-fiving, you know, drinks are flying. It's right at, you know, down at Talbot Street. It's, it's crazy. It's just awesome. I knew there was a big eye that was coming to scale um, from a, one of our Virginia beach boats. They actually fished it out of another port. In this tournament, you could fish 
anywhere from New Jersey down to Virginia, and but you still had to weigh the fish back in in Ocean City. So one of our Virginia beach boats, had, you know, called me up and said, "Hey, we've got a big fish that we're bringing to the scale." So, you know, at the dock we announced it, guys, everybody get ready. There's a big fish coming. You know, in about two hours, you know, the crowd started just crowding around the scales. Boat backs up, you know. Randy on the Rebel um, out of Virginia Beach actually came in without any steering. He came in on his throttles. He had two engines, came in on his throttles, you know, up from a two and a half hour ride from, from out in the canyons. It was unbelievable. And he brings in, he had actually had a couple white marlin that he brought to the scales, which won money. And he also had a 201 and a half pound big eye tuna, which actually tied our day two leader. So here we think, you know, we've got this big, huge fish that's going to be win. Well, I get word about 15 minutes later that another fish with just 73 inches, which is bigger than me, is coming to the scales. And, you know, we did some of the measurements and we knew it was going to be in roughly 250, 270 range. It ended up being 276 and a half pounds. Our top fish for the 2015 Hook Big Fish Classic was a 276 and a half pound big eye tuna. So that fish was 73 inches long. That's bigger than me. You know, so just imagine this is caught in the evening, you know, if you haven't been out fishing in the ocean, you're in bright blue water, you know, the guys gaff it, bring it on the boat, and, and they know it's a money fish. I mean, it's, it's, it's the real deal. Huge big eye tuna, just at the scales. On top of it, they had a 106 and a half pound yellowfin, which is a monster yellowfin. They had these great big sickles, what we call off the back, you know, the back fins. It's just a beautiful fish. And, uh, you know, those two fish end up winning over $95,000, which is, you know, truly amazing in our second year. That was more than our first year's purse. So things uh, are going in the right direction. While we didn't post anything and put anything up on the board, there was a lot we learned from it. Um, I think any as much time as we can spend on the boat getting used to everything and getting used to the setup and, and learning everything, um, the more the better. And I think that set us up for what we hope to be a really good White Marlin Open. The Hook Performance Fishing uh, 2015 Big Fish Classic was pretty special. And, and although we only caught one mar White Marlin, uh, and didn't weigh anything, it, it really was a success. I mean, it was great to see the teams come to the dock. It was a family event. You know, great things weighed. There was a 277-pound big eye weighed. I mean, that's what this is all about. It's all about the event. It's all about the family. It's all about being together, being a part of the community, and, and really enjoying what you do. The platform is phenomenal. Uh, you know, working with Brian Roberts over there at Big Fish, I mean, it's just, it's, it's easy, it's great, it's a great program. Next year, it's going to be even better, but right now, you know, our eyes are focused on White Marlin Open. It's going to be a, a $2.6 million payout, and, and that's what we need to do. We need to focus up, uh, get dialed in, and get ready. Your choice of fishing apparel can make or break your day out on the water. Added mesh vents for superior breathability. Moisture transport cooling technology to keep you dry and comfortable. And antimicrobial to keep you from smelling like your catch. With added SPF to keep you protected. We've added stain release to keep the blood or any other stains at bay. Our most technologically advanced fishing shirt for all the necessary dirty work. This is performance, from the first fish to the last. So we're White Marlin Open pre-fishing, and uh, this is our chance to really get out there with the best of the best. And we've got an invite to, to go out with John Duffy on the Bill Fisher. And uh, you'd be hard pressed to find anyone with an opinion um, 
that doesn't say they're they're up there with the best of the best and uh, to, so to go out see how they do it um, you know really just kind of scope out where the dredges run where the teasers run how, how far back is everything what are you pulling that was a, a really invaluable experience for us to go out there and see it hands-on and then um, you know these guys have caught in thousands of fish so you get handed a rod and you get to crank on a white marlin that, that doesn't suck either We got the opportunity, Ben and myself, to, to go and fish with um, with Bill Fisher, which you know by all accounts is the number one Bill Fisher team in the world. They are they are amazing. There's something else. I I gained a new respect for what it takes to do this after just watching them for one day. Um, super professional crew, uh, beautiful boat, and you know it's, it couldn't be any better. They're so fast on the deck, and you know you hear stories. And I we fished alongside those guys in, in tournaments where everybody's standing there holding a rod. There's not an advantage gained from a fish getting to a bait before somebody else is. If you feel a bite, you're in free spool immediately feeding that fish. And it's a little bit different for them uh, on a pre-fish fun fish day, but they're lightning quick. I mean, we went five for five, didn't miss a fish, a lot of flat line bites, um, and just man, they're fast. I mean, it's. The fish is on, you kind of circle around looking for another couple bites, and then that's it. Johnny's turning the boat, backing down on him, and uh, either deck the fish to measure it or, you know, pop the leader and, and you're on to the next. And um, having been through it now with us trying to do it and seeing them do it, it was, you know, it's not necessarily fascinating. It's not that level, but man, it's interesting to watch that team work um, to, to get those releases and move on to the next. I mean, that's their game. Catch as many as possible. And you can't catch as many as possible if you're fighting fish for 30 minutes at a time. Immediately when line's in, bang, just starts right off the top where uh, the hook whites or, you know, they get them on, Duffy puts us right on it. Um, you know, for that situation, being it's a professional crew and their, their boat, you know, they hook them, they get them set, and then you're basically reeling, um, which was great because, you know, it gives you the opportunity to see how they do it. Uh, what is amazing about it is how easy it is to get the fish up to the boat. But the majority of the time what they do, since they're going for large numbers of releases, they get it up to the boat, they cut it, it's done. You know, your release, once you get to the leader, um, it's, it's over with. But the really cool part, aside from them hooking it, is watching Duffy drive this big 60 foot boat uh, and getting it, getting the fish in the boat in record time. I don't even know how you do that with any boat, let alone a 60 foot boat. But uh, he did maneuvering. He knew where the fish was at all times. He got that boat right up next to the fish and those guys were just super professional and just amazing at what they did. At the end of the day, we went five for five on whites, uh, which is good in anybody's 
um, estimation. I think it was probably low numbers for him. Uh, but at that point in the season, I think five for five is, is, um, is a pretty good number. When it was all said and done, we learned a lot. I, I relish those opportunities. Um, I love to learn and what I've, the experiences I've had with the, these tournaments and our, or with these um, offshore experiences uh, and catching these fish has been second to none. I've never had, never caught a fish uh, as big as the 70 pounders that we've been catching, um, which, you know, hopefully we catch some blues and we get a big one in, but um, it's just been amazing.